Hey everyone, welcome back to ITPK. Today I am going to show you a brand new feature that Microsoft is rolling out in Windows 11 25 S2. The updated Xbox full screen experience for PC users. If you use the Xbox apps on PC or you are into cloud gaming, Game Pass or simply want a console like interface on your desktop, this update is honestly pretty exciting for you. I will walk you through what this new full screen experience is, how it works and most importantly how you can enable it right now, even if it hasn't officially rolled out over your device yet. So before proceeding, make sure you have liked and subscribed ITPK and let's get started. This feature is currently only available for the users on Windows Insider Dev or Beta channel. If you are not already a part of any of it, just go to your settings, Windows Update, Windows Insider Program, make sure to sign up for Dev or Beta channel. To receive the Xbox full experience option, you need to be on bill number 26220-7271 or higher under the 25H2 variant. If you are not comfortable using your main PC for insider builds, I would recommend you testing it on a secondary device just to be safe. Before we move into enabling the Xbox full screen experience, let me show you the Windows update I received on my system. As you can see on the screen, Windows had already downloaded the latest version 25S2 update and it is showing as a pending restart. After restarting my PC, Windows completed the update process and I landed on the new build. Build number 26-2020-7271 that is Windows 11 version 25S2. Now this is the exact build you need to get this new Xbox experience. So if you see this build number after restarting, it means you are ready to move forward and unlock the future. Alright, now that we are on the correct build, let's move on the part that everyone is waiting for. Microsoft hasn't rolled this feature out to everyone yet. But you can manually unlock it using a tool called Vive Tool. To download Vive Tool, just go to video description and click on the link. Vive Tool basically exposes hidden feature inside the windows. Just go ahead, download the latest version of Vive Tool zip file, extract it into a clean folder. You can place it anywhere inside your computer. Once the files are extracted, open up Command Chrome, run as administrator. Copy the path where you extracted Vive's tool and just type cd and then paste the path. Now here, please go ahead and get the command from video description and paste it in your command prompt and then press enter. Now quickly go ahead and restart your computer to enable Xbox full screen experience. Once your PC restarts, you will notice a new option inside Windows 11. This is basically an adaptive full screen mode for Xbox app. Think of it as turning your PC into an Xbox style dashboard. Similar interface, similar navigation but running on Windows 11. You can still use the regular Windows Xbox app but this new mode lets you enjoy a console like experience, especially if you are gaming on a TV or using a controller. This is also useful for the people who use Xbox Cloud Gaming, Game Pass Library, Xbox Storefront, Friends and Party Chat and Desktop Setup with Controllers. To use the Xbox full screen experience, just go to your Start menu and type Settings. In the Settings, navigate to Gaming and then you will see Full Screen Experience here and just make sure Enable Xbox Full Screen Experience is turned on here. There are multiple methods to open it, just right click on your taskbar and go to taskbar settings. In taskbar settings, make sure the task view is turned on. When you came to task view, you will see Xbox full screen experience option here. And using your keyboard, you can use Windows T plus F11 key as a shortcut key that will open Xbox full screen experience in front of you. In Xbox full screen mode, if you press a Windows key, that will take it out from Xbox full screen. And again, if you want to go back to Xbox full screen, you will see a button on right top of screen that shows Xbox full screen. Just click on it and this will take you back to the full screen. It's honestly nice to see Microsoft pushing the Xbox app forward, especially for the people who want game on PC but still want that familiar Xbox UI. If you are using Game Pass or Cloud Gaming, this update actually makes the experience feel smoother and more console-like, especially on large monitor or TV setups. The rollout should hit main version of Windows in about a month or two, but for now, you can enable it early using Dev or Beta channel. 
And that's it for today's walkthrough. If you found this video helpful or if you are planning to try out the Xbox full screen experience on Windows 11, drop your thoughts in the comment below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you won't miss more Windows 11 guides and updates like this. Thanks for watching ITPK and I will see you in the next one.